Runk. <laughs> Recording. Put your phone away. Put your phone away. Dude. Put your phone away. It, it, I'm not. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lay it on me. Thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. It's not good. You know why? Oh, I know why you think that. No. Because it's a very good coffee place and you have sh taste in okay. everything that there ever is. All right, bleep those out because it's the first one. Oh, right. Of the I can't podcast. say that. I'm sorry. I was okay. passionate. That's all right. Just bleep them out. It's not good pod podcast. It, it's not so good coffee. Foreign, so far. Dude, first of all, that coffee from and the name will we won't say the name because of well, how I love it I want to say the name but we won't say the name because of how I I think it's it's really bad and it and people think it's really good it is really good and it's Alfred's okay well you and just said you weren't I know that was gonna be the joke and you kind of ruined it by saying I will say the name because of the name because I liked it no but, but okay. I you didn't know but I didn't in the future. no no you know what the thing is you're pissing me off is the main overarching thing uh, the coffee's good no on top of that you're pissing me off because I was saying the coffee's bad. No, because you said I messed up the bit, even though I didn't. Well, the bit was messed up a little bit. I saved it because I'm good with bits. I think it, so. It's fine. I think you messed it up by doing it in the first place because no. it wasn't that great. Listen, oh. the the <laughs> cold brew at Alfred's Coffee. Uh huh. Kink, 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 kink. Terrible. Okay, All but right? but it but, is. but who cares? Because only losers, luddites, and lemmings get cold brew. Well, that's not true. Yeah, it is. Real people who with real taste get, get what? real coffee. Okay. Dude, I drink four shots of espresso okay. over ice. Okay. I really I really do I really do all the cool stuff. Dude when, when it comes to coffee. I drink I drink regular coffee sometimes. Okay, then you're doing great when you do that. Okay. Remember the guy at Indian Guides who drank something like this and we always made fun of him? No. Oh damn, no. I would love to remember that. No. He was like of some sort of Asian descent. It was in New Jersey still. I, I was remember. so young. No, I don't remember that. Okay, well. Dude, oh. You don't I, cherish our youth as much as I do. Well, no. But there. Th do you remember the guy that was in the baseball camp and we called him Darthead? Yeah, Kramer. His name was Kramer. It was? Yeah, his name, last name was Kramer. Yeah. Dude, he had a turban on, which is cool. We're not, you know. but And that's, it sounds racist. Darth oh, well, no. Not. Kramer's a different guy. Obviously, a guy named Kramer wasn't wearing a turban, but keep going, yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> this, guy's, this guy was not Kramer. He no, I know. Because he would wear, wear the turban. He would wear his baseball hat over the turban. That and was And he sick. couldn't fold the brim like that. So... It was so straight, like we said, straight like a dart. So we'd call him Dart Head. And now realizing that, it probably sounds very racist. Uh, it wasn't it's not, racist though. though. It's, not, it's, not, it's, what, it's not even racist but now. It, I think someone, if we said it the wrong way, too yeah. fast, it would sound like Dot Head. Oh, and that would be racist. Didn't even think but about that's that. That's not what we didn't said. even think about that for twenty five years. Me six, neither. Until right thirty now. years. Me neither. Until right now. Wow, but, interesting. So the point is, we're not racist. Well, the point is, is the cold brew from Alfred's is very bad, and so is the coffee. I wouldn't know because I only drink real delightful brew. Okay. Worst actual delightful brew okay so far <laughs> it, this is delightful brew yeah uh listen uh it's not good i've been there plenty of times i know real coffee i drink real coffee i love coffee have you had their world famous vanilla latte bro a vanilla latte if let me tell you this right now if a vanilla latte is not good then the, the place should be it should explode there and, are and, and, very and many places with bad vanilla jet lattes. should should yeah they should fly through and oh, bomb that okay. place that's crazy. A vanilla latte should only be you drink it, you go, wow, that's amazing. They were world famous. Alfred's is world famous. You know how, how I know that? Because on they the say menu it? it says world famous. Bro, I could do I mean I that's, did this in quotes, not because I did it. Alfred's is it even in another place? Alfred. Alfred's coffee. Why are you though? acting like mom adding an S? Mom does do that. But even to things that I'm have saying, an S at the end, she adds an S. Because it's Alfred's coffee. It's his. Alfred's is coffee. Starbucks's coffee. Yeah. That's shit. Yeah. Anyway. Let's move on because it's not, it's really not that good. But let's move on. You love it. Fine. I got you that hat. You're welcome. I was just going to say thanks for the hat, even though you did nothing to get it. It was all Kristen. Am I you wrong? You don't about know that? that? Uh, yeah, but I know you. So I know that. So you didn't have foresight on the bit, but you did have foresight on that. Yes. I had nothing to do with it, but she told me she was going to do it. And I said, oh, that's cool. So in a way, I did have something to do with it. Because if I, if I said, I don't think that's a good idea, I would have put the kibosh on it. Do, so you're welcome in that way. Do we all know who that is? That's your, uh, your, your dog. Yeah. Yeah, my dog, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Your dog, Charlie. Oh, wants the coffee oh so my bad. God, you want it? Have it. Dude, I don't want it. It's so bad. Have mooch, it. And why don't you dude. tell us? Are you? It was like this too. Are you <laughs> gonna have that coffee? Go ahead. Have it. 
And he's got the Carhartt hat because he's a working man. He would like regular coffee, like, you know. Is Carhartt working man shit? That's what they say, but it's I said stupid. a bad word again. That's okay. It's four minutes in, whatever. But, you know, yeah. I'm I'm good with it, but you swear a lot. So I do, yeah. But you messed it up the last episode. They had to... I did. Zang it out. No, nah, don't do that. Yeah. So, look, so you're welcome for the hat. So it's your, it was for Christmas, Thank right? You for the hat. And it yeah. finally came. Yeah. You know, and I got to be honest. March, it's been, 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 been. Yeah, it is. Been, been, been. Dude, I actually really... Do you actually like it? Uh, I feel like you would not like this. No, I like it. Yeah. I yeah, thought it I was too it. small because I tried it on. She thought I, I was going to be too small. I tried it on and it was fine. It's snug. But it's oh, not okay. too small. Cool, got it. Why? Well, she said you should get. We were at a place, and she was like, "You should get Matt that that uh, beanie." And I looked at. I didn't think you'd like it. And it wasn't this. It was no. It was um, a tie dyed more. Uh, it was like purple pink kind of one. But it was not like thick. It was thin. Oh, thinner. I don't like thin. Okay, yeah. I knew it. Yes, dude. Yes, yeah. he knows his brother, dude. Yeah. I don't like thin. I know my brother. Yeah, you do. In that in that instance, you know. I know my brother very me. well. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So anyway, dude. Um, that was that was how I feel about that. It's great. It's great. I quit. <laughs> I quit. How, how I mo- quit. What percent of people do you think know what that is? One. No way. No, 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 no. It's more than way that. less. No, oh, no, co- no. Well, less than one. No, it's more okay, than one. Okay, hold on a second. Before before we tell you what it is. Yeah. In the comments, be truthful. Because I'm gonna look this time. I never look, but I'm gonna look this time. Do you know what this is from? I quit. I quit. I quit. And then he, and then on the last the one, he says, "I quit." All, and this might give it away, but okay. not. And then on the last, th- on the third one, he says, "I quit, Mr. White. I quit." No, and then and, he leaves. And, and he says, "This might give it away," but in the end, he goes like this: "I quit." Tom Hanks' character <laughs> in that thing you do. So uh, yeah, dude, it's from that thing you do, and it's how he says, "Ooh, can we play it? Play it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> play it's it, dude. Legendary. Play it. Play it." I mean, it's not legendary. It know. is. Look how many views. A quarter, a quarter million. I, I quit. So dick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the laugh. The laugh. <laughs> I quit, Mr. White. Oh, he doesn't add another. Uh, I, I failed. Dude, no. You know what happened for sure, and we know this because we're in the biz, right? Okay. Right. But for sure, the, he did it, and the director said, "You know what I want." I want, after you're done doing it, I want you to take an actual moment where you really talk to him like a person. That's what he said, dude. And you know who the director was? Tom Hanks. Slash Mr. White. Slash the writer. Dude, Tom Hanks' writing and directorial debut was that thing you do. (laughs) (laughs) That's so hilarious, dude. And then later he went on to also direct another movie called Larry Crown. Dude, Dude, what are you doing, Tom Hanks? Well, I don't understand why anybody wants to do anything but the thing they do. Well, Put that on my tombstone. If you're going to do something like crazy and wild, yeah. go for it. Do something. Dude, if you're Tom Hanks, right? Uh-huh. And you want to do some like crazy mm-hmm. like sex thriller or something. Yeah. Write it, direct it, be in it even if you're Tom Hanks. Don't do some stupid yeah, uh, light romantic comedy. Don't do something that Tom Hanks would get cast as an actor to do. When he was young before he even made it. You know, like that's like what th- that thing you do is for him. It's also right. like what Larry Crown. Larry Crown. Do you know what it is? Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's just like about he's like on a, a scooter regular, with his legs yeah. out like this, like right. Yeah, with yeah. Julia Roberts yeah. on the back. He's like this, like that guy. Dude, if he part. wasn't Tom Hanks, would ever get Julia Roberts? You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Um. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Crystalia dot com. Segway. Minneapolis. Segue. I am going to be shooting my special April first. Uh, Crystalia dot com. April first. Uh, and I'll, I'll be in Austin. I will be in uh, Milwaukee. Uh, I've got Columbus, Ohio. I got Ohio dates coming up. Um, and what else? I don't even know. Different ones, man. But Different it's gonna places. It's going to be a rocking. It's going to be a rocking. Uh, and if you have a question, you want to submit something tickets. to the show, go to crystalia.com for his tickets. If you have a question, uh, want to submit a video to the show, click in the, uh, the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com. And if you want a private session, you don't want to air it out in front of the whole entire world because the whole entire world watches this show. Mm-hmm. You can make a session with me one-on-one, mano a mano. It travels nowhere except into my ears. It never goes out of my mouth. You know? Whatever you tell me never goes anywhere else. Cool, man. Mattalia.com. Baby, baby, baby. Pimpin, pimpin, pimpin. What about Booyah? Well, I was, I was doing a pause to lead up to it, but Booyah, Booyah, and Booyah. So wait, let's go back to this. You think lifelinemerch.com for the merch. You think, and the merch is absolutely pimpin, pimpin, as he would say. Thank you. you think that for real, 
more than one percent oh, knows yeah. what dude I, quit. I bet i bet that's crazy dude no of like of like the entire world no 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 america america yeah, okay then i would say people, like people in uh, between three and five percent colombia be like hey, that's from <laughs> um, <laughs> in india yeah yeah between between three and five percent that's <laughs> that's crazy bro <laughs> i mean that's probably so wrong that's but so i want crazy. that to be true though so i'm sticking with it but now if that movie had come out maybe this year maybe you maybe one percent or two percent. Even but, no, but now nobody remembers anything from movies. Ago. Nobody remembers any lines from movies now. Okay, fair enough. You're right. There's too many of them. It's an onslaught, and it's like yes, I get it. It's not the same thing. There's that whole fucking like like dude. The best pictures. I don't know who's so far in. in so far in the best pictures. But that's it. The best the pictures. Nominations. Nominees. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. no idea who they are. Yeah. I will never know ever again. But also shit like Green Book wins. Shit like. Uh, what was the Gamer del Toro movie about the fish that she fucks? Yep. What was, fish out of water. Nobody ever thought about that the year after it came out. Fish out of water. No, that's not what it was called. Shape of water. Shape of water. So. Fish out of water. Cock. But they could have called it fish the out of water. The shape of water, water is so cock. You know? Yeah, the shape of water is cock because the shape of water is whatever you put it in. Well, there's something poetic going on in their minds, but mm -hmm. there's no poetry going on when you watch it because Suckville. Is it bad? It's Suckville, yeah. Really? Dude, Guillermo del Toro, is that the guy who did the fucking, the cabinet of James Guillermo del Toro on Netflix? What? Anthony, he's, he's a dork. Yeah. Yep, see, knew he knew. What did you say? Guillermo del Toro did a thing called the, cap. what is it called, dork? Uh, Anthony knows because he's a dork. Cab <laughs> cabinet of Curiosities. Oh, yeah. If you said the thing, I would have known. I said cabinet. I didn't you know it was You said cabinet of Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> and my, I was just going to say, yeah, just, he probably did that because he is Guillermo del Toro. It's just in his kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, he... dude, it's that thing is not good. Kristen likes it. It's odd she likes it, but and he he's doing this thing where he like introduces each episode. That's his dream. That's I his know. Dream. It's so he, obvious. He, his dream. This is the kind of filmmaker that generally bothers me. Gilbert Thoreau is actually good, I'm but sure. he's got this quality mm -hmm. about him that a lot of other successful filmmakers have, and all they want to do is recreate shit they saw when they were eight. Wow, that's so funny, dude. Like that's Peter really Jackson funny. with King Kong. Yeah, like these so guys, funny. like he even remade actual King Kong. What the hell, like, dude? These guys, they just want to feel like little kids again. Wow. Not to be sick, but Pauline Kael's original review of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Steven Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark, is the best takedown of that. And it was like, what, what year did that come out? Why do filmmakers do that? That'd be like if I wanted to make a movie now called like The Babysitter Who Molested Me in the TV Room. Ah, <laughs> The Babysitter Who Hypnotized Me and I Cried Like a Bitch. That was another My one. name's Chris Delia, not Matt Delia, because Matt Delia didn't cry. That's the title. <laughs> you cried dude he cried he was getting hypnotized and he cried ah. first of all i was not hypnotized i didn't cry at that i hypnot i cried because you were being hypnotized and i felt bad for you and i was traumatized by it moving on well it didn't work <laughs> dude her name was you know remember what her name was her name was muffy Oh yeah, I do remember that. Muffy. Well, don't and dox she a, her. She had a. She had a. She that had was a, beautiful. That was not the. I was talking about the babysitter. That's a different. I'm joking. But he was talking about the. He, you're talking about the hypnotized thing. Yeah. 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 That's the only thing we're talking about, though. So that's all good. No, I said the joke about the molestation in oh, the TV room. Oh, oh yeah. No, this guy separate. Fucking doesn't even separate babysitters. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, Muffy. She had a white, fake, white, uh, furry thing. Mm -hmm. I think she was a, an exotic dancer. Man. No, she wasn't an exotic dancer. And she also didn't have a white furry thing. You're saying that because you think a person with name Muffy would have that and you're... Why would that be true? I remember her specific... Wait, it might be wrong, but I distinctly remember she was blonde. Yeah, and she, she was, was the blonde. friend of the actual babysitter. I thought she, she was the even, baby. No. I thought she was the babysitter and she brought her friend. No, the babysitter brought Muffy. Fair enough, fair enough. And Muffy was the hypnotist. <laughs> Such a weird childhood. Yeah, how funny is it that Muffy's like 50 right now, you know? Yeah, at least, right? She's yeah. got to be... She probably... At least 50. At yeah. least 50. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, all if right. Muffy, if you're out there watching, you should submit a video. Ask, should I regret trying to hypnotize two young, innocent children when it was way out of line to do that? And I remember they were being like, T, he blinked, he blinked, he blinked to you. And I, I got so, I got scared. I got scared, bro. I was scared. I was such a scared child. Yeah. Still I, scared. So, what um, was I doing? You were doing, you were getting hypnotized. You were like, all right, I'll do it. I was like, Matt, you'll do it? Okay, cool. Oh, what a badass I was, dude. Yeah, you were badass. Yeah, okay. You were badass. Yeah. You've been hypnotized ever since. So anyway, let's get yeah, into the- They hypnotized the... me to be a badass my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> um, you will be a badass on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. You want to like this go like this? Can I buy- I need to buy a leather, leather jacket. And then you put, yeah. You go like this. On, yeah. I'm going to start smoking. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm five years old. All right. Yeah. Shall go. we? 
Shall we dance? What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? Oh, did a magic hates trick. you the way she said it. Yeah, yeah. Hates you the way. play it again. Canada. Did a magic trick in the beginning too. Absolutely hates Chris the way she said Chris. What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? Oh, <laughs> just here from I'm Montreal, Canada. Okay, well that's um, not what it is, Canada. I'm looking to see should be, though, what it? you Zanadu? guys would do in this situation, or what you guys do with your friend group. But I've been hanging out with the same group of people for over a decade now. We're really close. And whenever we would do weekends away, get cottages or like I mean. splurge, it used to kind of be tit for tat in terms of like someone would make a big dinner and spend groceries on that Got dinner, it, sure. but then that other person would book the cottage and so it would kind of even out. It's called living fair. But some of our like less financially yeah. able friends we get it. kind of get left out sure. or oh. aren't contributing the same. Yeah. And so now we have a spreadsheet. Oh no! It's really weird. Oh, Jesus. That's called living wrong. I mean, these but aren't efficient. friends. You work. Yeah. Where do you guys a business. lie in terms of situations like that? Okay, friends. If you have a friend, yeah, you never involve them in something that requires making a spreadsheet because no real but friend exactly. would do that. Congratulations! You are now running a business. Yeah, you've yeah. got a business. Congratulations! Yeah, it, it's just gross feeling. Also, it's called living fair. The thing she said at first, you know. And then the things she said about the spreadsheets is called living wrong. Okay. Okay. Two, two songs that Garth Brooks would sing, <laughs> and, and, and both on different CDs. That, yeah, first that follow CDs, each other. Yeah. Living fair, and then the next one would come out three years later called living wrong. <laughs> CDs, dude. Um, <laughs> ancient. So uh, yeah. All, all right. right. Well, the uh, what was the question though? Like, does she just is it is it like is it's, that it's, wrong? It's all fucked up. Yeah, it's living Look, wrong. Here's the deal: if you start getting into another tax bracket, okay. Your other friends that aren't in that tax bracket, you're done with them. No, they get a free meal. You buy them food. That's oh, how right. that goes. If you're yeah. the one who makes money first, yeah. especially if it's a lot more money, yeah. you buy them food. You never say, oh, should we? let's split it. You never no, forget. No, to, you don't do that. You don't ever do that. You buy the food. There are two food. options. So there are two options then. You can either pay for everything or you, you're in a different tax bracket. You're done with those friends. You've leveled up, right? And and then when you see them again, because you'll still run into them, you go like you go like this. Oh, mm. you know, so or you can be even better like this. That's better. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look who yeah. leveled up in another tax bracket. Who whoever started the spreadsheet thing, mm -hmm. they well, that person is a piece of shit. Get them out. Yeah. yeah. Get no, out. He, and also About or you money can, with friends. Yeah. You can you divvy suck. That dude. sucks. You can divvy up also the the stuff. You could be like, I'm paying for everything, but you guys got to stay in the servants' quarters. And now when we get the cottage, it's great, but you guys are gonna be doing more chores. Yeah, and you make my bed. Yeah, you bring me my food that I bought. Yeah, but you bring it to me in bed. And then you, when and I'm you done, it, you can eat. Yeah, and you say it like this when you you go when your bed's not made like early enough. You you walk out and you go, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And they say what? And you say, <laughs> my bed's not made. <laughs> and then they go and they go, well, oh shoot, oh okay, I guess that was mine. Let me check the spreadsheet and be like, you don't have to spread check the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. You're poor. Yeah, I'm and richer. Then, and then and then we'll walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the good. That's the the great advices for us. But yeah, the one who made the spreadsheet. Women under the influence. <laughs> Dude. Play the clip. Play a clip of that, can you? I wonder. No. Mabel Longetti. Mabel Longetti. That's okay. We I know who right, the cool. character name is. I know, but the, uh, I know the, about the people, movies. though. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Worst producer in the game. Okay. Just, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, you, you know what? It's not my thing. Uh, <laughs> I'll not do that. All right. Next up. I mean, Log John logic. DeWalt. Yo, logic. What up, Christian Matt? Uh, John DeWalt. I was just wondering what your guys' thoughts were on um Guys. like being super competitive so one thing about me is i've always been super competitive and it it's like led me pretty far in life i've, I've succeeded at a lot of no, things he's 12. but also it makes people not like me um yeah. so i was just wondering yeah. what your guys thoughts were if either of you guys are competitive or like if that bothers you like if that annoys you guys if you know people who are like that um but yeah thank you love the podcast see ya Look, being competitive is is unfortunately a natural human or yeah. animal thing, whatever. So it's not like to be competitive means you suck or anything. But exhibiting co competitiveness, that in a, especially like an over competitive thing, that sucks and it alienates people. Like if you're playing, I was playing Risk, yeah, the other day with it's some terrible. friends, and I was thinking, wow, what if someone yeah. was like really compete i would not want to play but it was so fun because no one was like that it's cardboard yeah one more thing i played in an adult baseball league right 
Okay. And obviously, it didn't matter because what I just said, it's an adult baseball league. And it's not Major League Baseball. If it's not Major League Baseball, it doesn't matter. Exactly. So I was pitching because I'm a pitcher. I'm, I'm a lefty. I'm very good at baseball. When and was this? And this, uh, I, we still lived in the Valley. So like f- okay. f- f- yeah. 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago, yeah. Um, and the, there were two brothers on the team. One was the catcher and one was the shortstop. And they were like the best ones. Okay. That's sad. Yeah. And, uh, dude, I like we, the, at home plate, the opposing team, somebody slid into home plate and accidentally spiked the guy, the catcher. And the catcher comes in right before I go out to pitch another inning. And he says, this guy's coming up. The guy that spiked me, hit him, beat, beat him with the bit, with a fastball. And I just, I paused for a second. I was, I was, I, li- I this is exactly what happened. He said, hit him, like hit him with a fastball. And I, and I just, no. Yeah. No, because that, like, why, why would I do that? And why do you even want me to do that? Cause he, oh, cause he hurt you. Yeah. How oh, did he hurt you with a little cleat? Adam Sandler. How about, how about, how about, do we do? But that's okay. Hold on. That's not really competitive. That is, dude. That's even worse. Than well, yeah, but that's more like revenge. Yeah, I guess, right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I mean, I, I right. get, I get in the how heat of saying, competition. Yeah, 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 he got so yeah. upset that yeah. it made him want to actually hurt a person. That's crazy. Well, that's really yeah. yeah. Especially like he had already calmed down from it. It was yeah. the next inning. Also, adult um, baseball league, not the MLB. Right. Uh, I don't. I I don't think you should ever be competitive in anything but business. Business is cool. Like, because you got to be the best business. You be competitive with other businesses. But, like, don't ask me about my business. I'm a businessman. But if you are, like, competitive in anything, like, dude, one time I was playing, what was it? Not Frisbee golf. What's the one? Ultimate Frisbee. Okay. And I was playing, just having a fun. I mean, it's a Frisbee thing. And, uh, one of the guys there that, that, that I was in high school, one of the guys there was like, yo, Chris, it's actually way more fun if you take it seriously. Oh, uh, dude, if you take anything seriously that involves a Frisbee? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Suck. I go like, ah, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm not going to do that, man. It's fr- Check it out. I bet oh, I, dude. I bet I know who that was. You do. And I'm you sure you do. You don't want to air it out. No, of course not. Yeah. I like I like the guy a lot. But like, right. I'm still friends with him. It was but, Tom Cruise. It was Tom Cruise. Yep. He goes like this. <laughs> like, I'm a friend if you take it seriously. And then he fucking ran across the side of a building. <laughs> With a with a fucking bungee jumping on, um, so far in the today fuck it was. with a bungee jumping. Anyway, late for my flight. <laughs> Grabbed on the side of it. Uh, yeah, dude, and it was just like it's like nah, I don't I don't have that. The only thing I think you should be competitive with is if you could turn that on into yourself. Be competitive with yourself, man. Well, that's like, what I don't get. Even about business, like why do you want to outdo other businesses? No, no, no. You're right, except for some. You know, sometimes in some business, there's a there's like a. Uh, it's a pie, you know. It's like sure. I can only slice of the market. Exactly, yeah, slice yeah, of the market. Yeah. I mean, not with like comedy or anything like that. Right, but like, right, right. Uh, you know, if you're a fucking, I don't know, Kleenex. If what? you make butter in your Lando Lakes, yeah, and then there's another butter. They ca- start coming up on you, right, and it's yeah. like you know, yeah. Anyway, you like Lando Lakes? That's what I always had growing up. You know, yeah. that's what Dad would get. I don't. I tell you what, I don't like. What? I can't believe he's not bothered. Well, it's not butter. That's I know, why but don't they make butter too? Also, yeah, you, can. No yeah you totally can believe it. I can't believe it it's no bother. Like the inside Fabio. of a dirty person's butt. I can't believe it's no bother. Spread. Remember it would do that? Remember it was, I can't believe it's no butter. And then it came out with spread. And they were like, I can't believe it's no bother. Spread. No, dude. It was, I can't believe it's not butter. It's spray. It was the spray, dude. It was You're always right, spread. Dude. And that's disgusting. You are right, dude. That's disgusting. Spray? You're right. I can't believe yeah. it's no bother. A spray. You can't believe it's not butter and it's a spray? Yes, you can believe it's not butter because butter, you don't spray butter. Yeah. I can't be- can How totally go believe this is not butter. Spray. Can, can't believe it's no bother. Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can't believe it's no bother. That was bother. Fabio. Yeah. Can't Did you know that? I said yeah. Oh, okay. Can't believe it's no bother. Transcendence. You would say a spray though. I know, just making stuff up though now at this point. Let's watch commercial. Said no way. Here word. we go. Boy, that was quick. She wanted to remember Jerking them off. <laughs> but cholesterol took away their passion until. I can't believe it's not butter. Dressed like Tupac. I it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. Dressed like Tupac. Where's the spray? Can't believe it's not bother. Dude, let me tell you something right now before you even play the next one. Who ever thought Fabio right was there. hot? You know? Nobody. <laughs> Dude, he's a chick. 
But that's not even the reason, though. No, 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 I know, I know. It's ridiculous. He is a ridiculous-looking man. His hair is gross. Okay, do you have the spread one? Here we go. To her, it could only be a fantasy. I remember this. I remember it. So well. A lion. So tasty. (laughs) Oh, that shot. I can't believe. (laughs) I can't believe it's not bother. It's great. I he can't even talk, dude. Fresh it's crazy, dude. Without any fat or calories. You, I can't believe it's not butter spray. It's not just a dream any longer. It says fantasies don't come true. Dude, that's... Had to do, honestly, 45 takes. Like, is... they were like, Fabio. Yeah. No, dude. You're, 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 you... What? I, I can't believe it's not spray. A butter. <laughs> Fabio! Fabio, you didn't even look in the camera and smile. Believe I can't spray butter. Fabio! Have you guys God. seen the picture of him getting hit in the face with a bird on a roller yes. coaster? Yes. Yes, I have. That is, the fact that that picture exists, honestly, that was the first AI. There's no way that's real. That's unbelievable. <laughs> life is really good sometimes. Pull it up. Sometimes life is really good. Uh, the the third uh, <laughs> song by, what's his name? He got fucked well, up. Who was Garth it? Brooks. Brooks. Look, oh, look yeah, 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 yeah. Look how happy the blonde is. You d- finally, it happened. <laughs> the blonde Karma, is so happy, finally. dude. I can't believe it's a bird. <laughs> I can't believe it's a bird in my face. <laughs> it wasn't it a goose? Yeah, it was like a. I can't believe it's not a bird. A goose. A goose. It was a goose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not a bird. It's a goose. Hey, Fabio. That's what he said when he got hit. You're I can't f- believe it's not a bird. Fucking ugly. No, no. Okay. Well, let's not. I mean, you know what I mean. That's so rude. He's not cares? ugly. Everybody thinks uh, he's not under, ugly. They he's just, so fucking ugly. So dude. shitty, you know. <laughs> he's not ugly. He's just it, the fact that they marketed him as that is hilarious. He was, the, you know, what he was. He was the guy in the romance novel I know that. covers. I know that because I've read them all. Okay, well, that's. I used to smash off to the covers. Fucking falsehood. He's disgusting and ugly. Hey, dude, Fabio, I, you listening? You watching? You're ugly. How much did he always sit like this? Yeah, because you got hemorrhoids, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it's not. I can't believe it's not just ass pain. It's hemorrhoids. Um, all right. So gross. So I- <laughs> Dude, the shot with the with the fucking thing Dude, in the, the background. The Kubrick shot. Like, why had one shot in there? It was from Barry Lyndon, you know. <laughs> what a dork, dude! He says Barry Lyndon of all the fucking movies. Well, the least known. No, nah, uh, dude. It's one of the best movies ever made. Get Least a life. Known, get a uh, life, get a brain. Stanley Kubrick movie of all time. Get a life, get a brain. All right, anyway, next one. All right, <laughs> taking a break to tell you about Next Evo. We uh, love it. Oh, wow. He, Chris loves it. Just saying. I love it. I'm Matt and I love it. Uh, wellness is more than just about nutrition uh, and exercise. It's physical. It's mental. And you know what? It's also emotional. So mm. sleep uh, stress management, mm. mindfulness, these are all important aspects of wellness. And Next Evo is really if, mwah. if you want to get the next level of wellness, CBD can help, but your average CBD, CBD oil just it's not going to cut it. Next Evo Naturals developed smart sorb technology, clinically proven to help your body absorb CBD four times better than regular CBD oil because oil just doesn't mix with your water-based body. It works faster too. So when you need to de-stress, sleep better, or recover from an intense workout, you want to reach for Next Evo Naturals, capsules, gummies, mints, and topical creams. Yeah, they even got that. So uh, yeah, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, THC-free, capsules and gummies uh, derived from 100% uh, US grown hemp. The website is a joy to use and finding the product uh, to fit your needs, would you say is fantastic? I would say it is absolutely fantastic. Trouble sleeping, feeling anxious. The CBD, oh, Next cool. Evo, really, really does help. That's cool. And I have problems with both of those things. <laughs> no big deal, but so I do. So thanks, Next Evo. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential. Try Next Evo Naturals capsules, gummies, mints, and topical creams with smart sorb technology clinically proven to be better absorbed by your body. Get 20% off your first order of $40 or more at nextevo.com slash podcast and use promo code LIFELINE. That's 20% off at N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com slash podcast promo code LIFELINE. Thanks, guys. Logic. 
Hey, Chris, Matt, Max from Victoria, BC here. What up? Oh, yeah, I love it. Got a question for you guys. Been hanging with the same girl for about six ish months. We were open. Oh, boy. Uh, things were great. We spent a lot of time together. We had great communication. Okay. We talked about everything. Okay. I went on a couple dates. She talked to a couple guys, but nothing worth uh -huh. risking what we had. Uh -huh. Cool. It was amazing. Oh. Um, really liked this girl. Okay. Okay. Last weekend, she went to a show, a music festival in Seattle with oh. a guy oh. that I knew about. She went for four days. She fucked this guy. Yeah. Oh, so mad about it. Saw it coming. <laughs> Hurt me more than <laughs> I thought it, it would. Oh, saw it coming. So mad about <laughs> it, dude. Dude, fuck this guy. <laughs> His so, ass was clenched so dude, hard dude, recently, dude. you know? So it's been great. You know, it's been awesome. Like, we love each other. Man, this girl's fucking amazing. It's all been, we all know about it, you know? She went to Seattle uh, for a music festival with four days for this guy. Fuck this guy. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's all good. Knew it was going to happen. All good. Knew it. Knew it. Saw it coming. Great. 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 So it's great. What if that was it? That was no, no question. <laughs> Sonny, guys, what do I do? Tears come out. All right. Go, keep going. Uh, she told me it just happened. I don't believe that. I think it was a calculated move. Oh my God, this guy. She also told me she was going to stay at the hotel by herself. She stayed there with him. Oh, that's not good. Oh. That's a lie. Now, she's allowed to do all this because she is single. She is open. But she lied. But she's lying to me. It's very interesting, I don't know though. I that's something I should be worried about. Um, we're not talking now. Mm. I uh, told her I'm kind of done for now. Mm. I didn't react the best. I reacted more upset than I should have because she is open. We are open. She's allowed to do what she wants. Mm -hmm. But it hurt me more than I thought it would. Of course. Would. I apparently, I like this girl a lot. Yeah. I could date her in two seconds. Um, I don't know what to do. Do I just leave it alone? Let her <laughs> reach out? She probably won't reach out. She's stubborn as hell. Yeah, you got to do it. Um, love you guys so much. Really, Chris, I've been a fan for seven years. You're the man. Matt, you make Chris better. Hey. Peace, love. You do. You do. You do. Uh, okay, but but yeah, you're going to have to do the reaching out. She's not... If you blow up at her, there's... She has every right to not reach out anyway. This guy's cool. This guy's a cool guy. Okay. Go, okay. I just want, you know? Okay. Could we make fun of him and I want to. Yeah. Okay. We I like love his that tattoos. guy. Okay. I like the tattoos. Okay. okay. So. I got some myself. But uh, you shouldn't have blown up, but it's okay because you got feelings and everybody yeah. has feelings and we let them get the best of us sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're right that she shouldn't have lied. Mm -hmm. You're right that you shouldn't have reacted the way you did, but you learned something and that thing you learned is that you like her more than you realized. Just tell her all of these yes, things exactly, and say, look, I would love to actually, what I realize is that I actually do want to be in a relationship with you. I want to not be open. And my only thing is like, we just need to be honest. Yeah. Because if she told him just that they were going to stay in the same hotel right. room, he might have realized he liked her more than yeah, they had let yeah, on yeah. before by just thinking about that. Right. And they could have avoided all of this to begin with, which is fine that you didn't avoid it. People fuck people and it means nothing because like you guys could get together tomorrow and be super fucking happy. Yeah. She never thinks about that guy again. But like she lied. That wasn't cool. You will blew up. That wasn't cool. Just circle back around. Who, who gives a shit? You're not. She started no pride involved. Just fucking who cares? She started it. Oh, wow. Okay. I think you get to be mad. He gets to be mad. I don't know how he, he blew was up. mad. But OK, look, what I don't understand is she was was the pretense that she wasn't going to fuck him because if she's going with the guy anyway and he knew about it even if she got separate rooms you know they're going to fuck he said he knew or something like that right he said he like was feeling like he said he knew it was going to happen right 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 yeah. so it's confusing because you're mad i i understand you're you're upset that she lied but yeah. also I feel like he's actually really upset because he's been lying to himself about how he's okay with this open relationship. And didn't say anything before she went off yeah. and fucked Mr. Seattle. So my advice is, look, the reason you say, look, the reason why, because this is what I think, and this is what I'm making up. I think, I think that because uh, you, I think that I was pretending to be okay with this. And I realized that I ha caught real hard feelings for you. Um, and this lie made me blow up because I was acting mad at the lie when I was in fact, I should have been truthful with myself. And now I'm mad that I said it was okay for you to do this with me because um, I actually really like you and I want to be exclusive with you. And also with the way you had set things up, you, you only had a right in your mind to get mad at the things she lied about 
which is why it could very well be just misdirected anger. You could just be angry that you didn't say something earlier that you kind of shoved your feelings down for the sake of wanting to have, have it remain mm -hmm. open. My point is, you might be right. My point is, who cares? Yeah. What the deal is now You're right. is that you've realized now that you like her a lot more than you realized. Yeah. And that's you fair. wish you didn't blow up at her for that reason. Right. And like, let's try to start something exclusive. Yeah. I'm sorry I yelled. All I require really is, but that's not even, I mean, you should say it, but it's not like a crazy requirement. Honesty is the bedrock of honestly yeah. any, any good relationship. We've all fucking not been honest at various times in our lives, but like at least now you guys can start from somewhere really actually foundational and strong. Here's another thing too. When you're in an open relationship with somebody, why is it important for you to know, oh, is she staying with him or not? Like, that's what I'm saying, though. It's misdirected. Yeah, it's right, the only. Okay. Here's why: it's the only thing she lied about. Right. So he needs to be able to get mad about that. No, I understand that. That's kind of a version of what I was saying. But I'm saying, when you're in a relationship, I think the rules should be: look, you're gonna do you. I'm gonna do me. Yeah, but not. Why are you asking so much about it? But that's the thing. It doesn't matter. He, his point is that it's if it's open. I, I reserve the right to ask whatever I want. You could still do it. Yes, right, yes. But he's, so I'm saying I'm saying you kind of got yourself in a corner here to him. Right, because, but, but, but he's not... I get what you're saying, yeah. but you can have all kinds of open relationships. I think what you're saying is if you were in one, you wouldn't want to know anything because then well, you want to know everything. Well, I definitely wouldn't, but But yeah. he is different. I, I think a lot of people would be like him. Yes. Just tell me exactly what you're doing as long as I know what you're doing then that's fine because you have a semblance of control. Yeah, I, I understand that. It feel like that. going behind your back. I understand that except for the fact that, dude, when you're like things happen and when you're having sex, like it's the heat of the moment and, you know, like what if one of the rules was no BJs mm. and then you're doing, you're doing the girl and the girl does it or wants well, to do it. Well, that was one of the rules. I just wouldn't be in that. Well, I understand. So do but a different one. Do a different one. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like too. It's too hard to be like these are the rules, and then this. It's like, dude, you have a hundred and fifty thousand rules. I think. For any situation, well, what if this is happening? Well, what if you've been drinking? What if this? You know. I know people who swear by it, but mm -hmm. I just and I, it's. I can only say for myself, open relationships sound like the worst thing to me. I'm not saying yeah. everybody should just be monogamous and settle yeah. down with a single partner. Some people fucking stay single, whatever. Yeah. Date a lot, like go through many relationships. Yeah. I'm just saying several partners mm. several intimate partners at mm. once sounds like just thinking about it gives me anxiety with seven different women why do you say benito when you're doing that you're singing about a guy named benito benito <laughs> benito that's like when i do the the what's the song knees weak Arms is heavy. Having the fucking? a stroke. <laughs> I don't know. Mom's oh, spaghetti. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. What's yeah, that song yeah, called? Yeah. Lose Yourself? Yeah. It's always gank. Yeah, gank. What's up? It's interesting. You did it once. I didn't want you to even do it that one time, but don't then you care. did it again. And I didn't, I extra didn't want you to do it the second time, and you did it. And now you're going to do it again. Do you know why? And well, now the most you, I don't want you to do. Let me it. tell you something. You know how you don't laugh at that at all, and you have a straight face when you do it. When I do it, yeah, you don't at all laugh at it. Yeah, I still look in your eyes and I do it. Yeah, because you have a straight face. I feel that straight face, mm -hmm. and I turn it on its ass. But I'm not. But I will tell you this: what I, I know you're not. I know you're not yeah, trying to not yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's not what I was going to say oh, either. But, and that pissed me off that you okay, were, thought I was going to say. Okay, what? I was really going to say I'm not like actively trying to signal to you that I'm not liking. I, it. I know that. Okay, okay. I know. Don't that. point at me though. You got. You're putting at me when yeah, you're saying. I'm, I'm like back me. here. You're like doing like I got. I got that about you. I, I See actually what I'm saying? didn't cross the line. But yet. you basically did. And I was now, over here. Now our voices are raising, and there's a reason for that. My voice is not raising because it's, it's getting you're very heated. You're doing a lot heated. of things about lying. A what? You're doing a lot of lying up right now. No, no, no. I'm just exaggerating it for effect. But, but let me tell what you what I'm something. saying is the truth. The reason why what, I can do this stuff. Yeah. Beaning dong. Ding dong, looking right at you while you're not laughing. The reason why I can do it and still honestly feel okay because yeah. I'm a fucking soldier in these streets, oh, dude. Okay. And I'm really good at stand up. And I'm good at stand up. And when I bomb, it doesn't matter, dude, because I know I'm true and I know this shit's funny. So you can look at me with a straight face all you want, dude. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll either get you or I won't care that I don't. It's deeper. <laughs> so fucking deeper, dude. <laughs>
Dude. Uh, <laughs> all right. So yeah. So do what we both said. Anyway. Next. Yeah. 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 My hair. My hair. Really good at Tyson Quick. I mean, just murdered someone. Yeah. Out in the living room, and I'm in the bathroom, and here's my question. I mean, I'm a huge are you in fan. trouble? Okay. We've been together for 15 years. We have two sons Cute. together. Cute. Um, and we were out to dinner the other day, and we were having a good time. And I was just kidding. I was like, "Do you still think I'm hot?" Oh, 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 oh boy. And he was like, "I wouldn't say that." He was like, you're cute. Like, I think you're beautiful. I think you're sexy. Like, you know, when we do shit. And he's like, but I wouldn't say that, you know, you were hot. Why? And I'm like, okay. Weirdly caught my feelings hurt because who fucking cares? Weird. Like, I know he loves me. He tells me no, I'm beautiful. No, That's no. fine. But in a way, I was just like, just lie. Like, why do you have to say that? Maybe I shouldn't lie. have asked if I didn't want the answer, right? Like, do these words even matter? Am I being narcissistic? Like, who cares? But I just wanted to know your opinion on that. Like, uh, what is your take? You're comp- you guys are fucking aces. Thank you. I love you so much. Seriously, please don't ever stop doing what you're doing. You guys keep me sane Thank throughout you. the week. I look forward to this podcast. We appreciate you. Okay. But hold on. Both. Bye. But let, let me just say something. Hold, hold on. Don't lie. No. She is hot. She's obviously hot. Right, right. So but, just say yes. But what he... I mean, I don't mean to defend this uh-huh. guy, but he's obviously looking at it differently than us. This is the first time we've seen this woman. This guy's been with her for 15 years. He clearly feels comfortable enough to be like, well, you don't really like get me going anymore. But that's, that's, but that's dumb as fucking hell. But, but that's what hot yeah. means. Right. To, I mean, obviously. There, it's, this is such a nuanced conversation. You don't just say, I wouldn't say that. It's the same thing as like, do I look fat in this? It's like the most obvious, don't say yes to that. Yeah, well, yeah, but also if my friend says, do I look fat in this? Well, to yeah, me, Dan comes up to you and says, do I look fat in this? You say yes, because Dan's even fat. If even if he doesn't yeah, look right. fat, I would say right, yes. Right, but right, right. but my, 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 why, my wife, if she said, do I look fat in this? I know I would say, what would I say? Or what Jesus. about, no, that's, this is, that's not better. The, her thing's better. What if Kristen said, do you still think I'm hot? Well, I would say yes, but I do think she's hot. Right, and if you didn't think she was hot? I would... I would say yes because I Thank know she's you. hot. Thank you. That's my because point. Because I know though. she's hot. Right. Okay. But if you yeah. know that woman's hot, then then this guy should obviously say yes. But that's what my, I said in the beginning, is that you, she is hot. He was. He's with her. But your opinion of that doesn't really matter because it's this I, guy's I get that. looked yeah, at her yeah, for fifteen I get years. That. So so bottom line is, no matter what, even if what we're saying is not true, you have to lie. That's what you're saying. Uh yeah. Okay. About that, you don't have to be a liar. But when you when someone asks you point blank that you're in a relationship, do you still think I'm hot? You don't say, eh, I still think you're cute. I mean, what the fuck is wrong right, with but you? This, okay, this is advice for the guy. So we're saying what the advice for the girl is. Here's the deal. Wait, here's what the it more- seemed like she was asking, though, is that, am I right or am I crazy to feel a little hurt by that? Yeah. The answer is no, you're not crazy said, at all. Because she said, yeah, no, a fuck no. You're I totally you're in the right is my, is my answer to you. But go ahead. Um... Also, here's the other thing for the dude. If she's like, I kind, she, I kind of jokingly just said, like, do you still think I'm hot, dude? J- kind of jokingly just say yeah, right? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, right. Keep yeah, it, keep you know, it. I was going to the world, baby. Right, right. Just keep <laughs> it in the same tone. Right. Yeah. You eat a lot of carbs. Mm, wow, know, wow, I'm wow, just saying. Wow, 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 wow. No, I think. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. The whole you're totally crazy. right to have your feelings a little bit hurt. Don't let him like gaslight you about it though. If it actually hurt your feelings, then like you're allowed to have your feelings yeah. hurt. Yeah. Because I would imagine if you. You're worried that if you said it hurt my feelings, you'd be like, no, come on. Like that, you know, you, I don't know. You maybe, know. maybe not. Let's take this outside, dude. For I a- think that, um, I think that these are some of the best submissions that we've ever gotten. Yeah. Okay. Next. Yeah, I do. I think these are some of the best submissions we've ever gotten. Like in a row in one episode. Yeah. These are good. <sighs> so much pressure on the next one. You know? So we'll see what happens next okay, one. So check <laughs> this one out. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. What's up, Prison Matt? Dustin Diamond hey, is alive? Uh, Colin, because I got this issue. Uh, it's kind of a health issue. Nothing serious. Well, it could be serious. I quit smoking cigarettes like two years ago. Good, good job. It's been two years I since I've this. had a cigarette. Like well, like, like, you know, I've had one or two within those two years. No, you don't. But no, I think you did just a pri- like a social, session. like one or two. Um, so I can't say I've been clean two years. Also, I okay. do Unraveling. vape. And that's Unraveling. kind of like the main 
topic is I, I want to quit vaping because I feel like cigarettes have been along around long enough where people know what's wrong yeah. and like what it'll do to you. And then I feel like vaping is kind of like so new that they're it's discovering like oh, these terrible. new things that no, like, oh don't shit, you shouldn't it. vape. It's it's bad. At first it was like, I, it sounded like a healthy alternative sure, to smoking. Sure, sure, get it. But they now, you know, should I just marketing. stick to the Zaza? Like just straight up fucking Mary Jane all the way? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, looking like this all day? That's been around for yes. a long time too. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. So, right, let me know. Let me go. Before we even get into the thing, that you are a—that's the worst outfit I've ever seen on anyone. It look—he looks okay. like Screech, but a hippie, hippie Screech, dude. It's the 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 shirt isn't so bad, but with the combo, yo, bro. It also looked like the it. sideburns weren't a part of his head, or his hair wasn't a part of his head. What I'm saying is the sideburns didn't go with the hair. Yeah. A separator of the headband made it yeah. very confusing. It, it looked like the sideburns heads. and the glasses and the headband yes. were all together and you put it on at once. Yes, yes, yes. yes. There you go. And you're a bald guy. <laughs> and you just put on your outfit. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we got that out of the way. Change it. Change. No, it's all right. Whatever. It's fine. It's uh, fine. We love you, bud. Do you we're have joking. something we to, roast. to but, say for real? No, you go first. You had something Okay, hot. yeah. Uh, so is the thing that you just need to be smoking something? Because those three things are not similar. Obviously, cigarettes are similar to vaping, but some pole, you know. smoking weed is not similar to smoking cigarettes. Yep. So, is it, if but but what if you if you if what you are asking is, it is the same to you? What should you smoke? The answer is weed. Yeah, because you never heard of somebody getting lung cancer right. from marijuana. Why? Because there's no I mean, fucking think, tar in it. I think it could happen, but and there's no yeah. poisonous chemicals in it unless you got some shitty bag. But if you yeah. buy it at a store, you're not going to get that. So. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, yeah, just smoke weed. Yeah, don't vape and, you know, don't smoke cigarettes yeah. and smoke weed. That's very, very simple. Yeah, if that's the question, that's the answer, yeah. And, and, uh, and, and uh, if, you know, look, if you're one of those guys that has to smoke weed every day, then that's really annoying. If you got to smoke something all, every day, then you got to smoke weed all day. That sucks, but also... Because of the smoke? No, because it just is so annoying when somebody is just high all the time, but also... Look at you. Yeah, he's high all the time. You even, smoke weed. Any, anyone's go, anyone yeah. who sees you is going to think you're, you, you, you have weed in your pocket or in your headband. Or in your body. Yeah. Yeah. And so you might as well smoke it. That'd be like if I dressed up as a ninja and someone's like, oh my God, help. Those guys are, are beating me up. And I was just like, oh man, sorry, dude. I don't know how to do that. Everybody always thinks that. Be like, yeah. but you're, yeah. yeah, but you're dressed up as a, you have size and ninja stars. Oh dude. But your katana. Ah, oh, is that what that is? <laughs> you yeah. smoke weed, basically. Yeah, smoke, You're already there, you know? So, smoke all right. weed. I've gone through phases where I was high as fuck every single day. How high than the motherfucker? Like a couple of years where I was just blunted up. Okay. High than the motherfucker. What's that? Who's that? That's not Nate Dogg. No, if the other, Nate one, Dogg the is other one was Nate Dogg. Yeah. Smoke weed every day. High than the Dude, motherfucker. Is, is Nate Dogg dead? Damn, Nate dead. No. Fuck. No. No. Nate Dog was so ill. Yeah, I Do agree. not speak of him that way. I didn't. You're making a joke, I know. But uh, he was dope, but Nate dead. Huh? Ooh wee. I thought you were gonna do oops. Ooh wee. <laughs> na 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 Nate Dog oops. Okay. More? What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? Huge fan. I'm in the angle. Falling um, down. So lately I've been going to the beach Dutch. and I've had people sit right next to me. No. Or directly in front of me. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I don't know why they have the entire beach. That's insane. It's like I joined a family. Um, <laughs> well, does that bother funny. you? And if you were to say something, what would you say to them? Exactly what you said. Um, and also, I'm playing loud music on speaker. Um, she is? She's other saying, than listening to yeah. the ocean. Or like they when are. People, no, when people do it, oh, she it's is. Oh, it's Let me know. Dude. So you already said the right thing. This is a big beach. Could you please sit somewhere else? Or even why are you sitting here? This is this is why are you trying to make me uncomfortable? Because the the only thing that a sane person here's here's why ultimately everyone should know this is the wrong thing to do. Mm. But here's how we would know if we didn't know already. You would go and you'd be about to sit down and you'd think, well, I, I even if I want to sit right next to that girl, mm. that's probably going to make her really uncomfortable. Yeah. So. With that line of thinking, those people are bypassing that thought and not caring. So ultimately, they they don't care if they're making you uncomfortable. 
Therefore, you can be as rude as you want to them because they don't give a that shit about true, you. That is true. but They do not, not care about your level of comfort. That's true, but it's not necessarily what the people are thinking when they're sitting next to her. Right. And if yeah. they're not, okay. if they're not thinking that, right. then they're fucking crazy and be careful. So that's also situation. not necessarily true because there think, is one more thing. Do you think there's either... There's one more a, possibility. It's, so what? What's the, besides besides totally disrespectful or crazy? What else is there? The person that's like, oh, I like people. She likes people. Let's 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 join. You okay. know that. Person well, that's exists. the worst of the bunch. I mean, that, I that's a horrible. I don't person. know. That's people an like annoying that. person. If that person exists, then that's even more dangerous. Be careful because that's just wrong to be that way. But here's the other it's thing wrong too. about Gra life. People gravitate towards people, right? So if you're going to the beach and it's like all, I would go separate, right? Yeah, so would I. And so but would everyone also, else. If it's a guy sitting next to her, you get why. Yeah, but then that's just going to make her uncomfortable. Give I her understand space, that, but guys dude. are dumb though. And that's guy, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that guy's dumb. But then also, if you're going to beach alone in a swimsuit like that, and I don't know if she's the mayor of Naysville, but maybe she's the mayor of Naysville, right? Naysville. Where did that come from again? <laughs> I don't know. Nays means, you know. Boobs. I know what nays means. I've deduced what nays means. What, what the hell did we talk? Well, you used to do that, right? The mayor of Naysville? You, that's something you have said before. That's not yes. you? Yeah. What did it Naysville? No. It's probably Brandon <laughs> Goody, dude. Well, yeah, because it would say mayonnaise, and then we say the mayor. What's the mayonnaise thing? Uh, is that Brandon Goody? Yeah. I don't know, dude. He's your ah. friend. I'm happy but to say. But didn't you do the stain thing? <laughs> what's that? stain on I don't know. That's him. What's that from? I Was mean, that John Shara? No, I can't no, no, tell no. you. <clears throat> I'll tell you after what the oh, okay. mayor of Naysville is. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Mayor of Naysville? Okay. Oh, he knows. Yeah, dude. It's private. So anyway, um, so anyway, if she's the mayor of Naysville, and that means you know what it means by now, uh, then you get why the guys want to sit next to her. But here's what you she's do. She's cute though too. Like it doesn't, we don't need a, I, I'm another joking, reason. I'm joking. Her face is great. I, we don't know about anything, but her face is only ever her face. But anyway, dude, we're getting In into a deep angle. seas here. But what, what, what we're, what we're, what you can do is when they, uh, when they, you stay till they leave, when they leave, you walk with them and get in their car. Yeah. And well, when they say, what are you doing? You say, <laughs> well, obviously we're family. <laughs> you sat to close. Yeah, the whole beach. Oh, I mean, coming. I have a good idea, though, for real. What? It's a little bit, it's the same idea, but you follow them in their car, see what car they're getting into, mm -hmm. get in your car, mm -hmm. follow them, mm -hmm. follow them home, mm -hmm. sneak in behind them yeah. as they open the door with their key, wait <laughs> in another room until they get in bed, yeah. and then get in bed with them I mean, and say... When they act weird, say, oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were married because only married people sit this close together. Wow. Good Such night. a drawn out. Good night, my sweet husband. <clears throat> Good night, my sweet husband. But the guy's going to like it, dude. Yeah, true. Don't do, do that. Do not do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I take it back. I take it back. Yeah. If it's a woman, though, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that that's very uh, annoying. Yeah. I think I, I, I do kind of feel like a beach is a place where you bring a, a, a boom box kind of scenario, stereo to. But I also think it's very annoying if the she's saying, "What about people who bring their music?" No, she had music. Oh well, she's about. She's playing loud music, oh, and they still come. Yes, this is what she's saying. Oh right? uh, well, right? I mean, no. I thought that she was like, "Also, what about this?" Either way, yeah. either way, you bring your 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 fucking Bose pill, whatever the fuck beat pill is, and you play it to where it's not crazy loud if you're around people, and uh, and if you play it any louder than that. You pace, right? Maybe bring something that smells really bad. Mm. Do something that's, that's like rude. Yeah. I want you to be rude. I don't usually recommend wow. rudeness, but like that is such a no-no. That is like, there, there are certain things that just are so blatantly breaking the social contract that we all silently agree to when we go out into the world. That's one of them. So I want you to be rude. I want you to bring like a stink bomb or, or something that stink will- Stink bombing? Yeah, something something really bad and just naughty. Be naughty. naughty. Remember the stink bombs you and just throw. They them? were so bad. Oh, you just throw them and remember, they break. Remember the itchy stuff, itchy itchy powder. Oh yeah, and I put that it on your back. Sucked. I put yeah. it on your back and you were like, no. That's what you and would I had do. To admit it. You had to. I did it to Vince Braun once. Also to Vince Braun, I I pretended that uh, uh, Cody's dog food was beef jerky, uh -huh. and it didn't go that well because he ate it and he was just like, is this dog food? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Dude, He's like, oh, if your name was Vince Braun. That's a pretty ballin' ass That'd be name, like if dude. your name was Kevin Macon. 
That's uh oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wow, 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 exactly. wow, 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 wow. Because you know him very well, and I don't. Yeah, Vince right. Vaughn, I think right, Vince right, Vaughn. Right, 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 so right. So your right. name is Tom Booze. Right, 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 right. I mean, you know, <laughs> Nick, Nicholas Rage, <laughs> Vincent Tanafrio, Brad. Pitt. Wow. Now we have to definitely bleep that out. Also, when you said and bleep you out can't that. say tit or cunt. No, and bleep that one out. <laughs> <laughs> French, French. <laughs> ah. Do we have another one or what? Yeah. Kenny G. Hey, Matt and Chris. Uh, Hannah here, calling in just with a small advice question. Basically, I have always wanted to vlog. I know, so cringe. No, um, no, no. But Do I've it. been scared to no. because I'm shy no. and a little bit awkward. But um, a lot of my close friends say that I should just do it for me, have fun, like whatever. It doesn't matter what other people think, like kind of block the negativity, um, spin move mentality, I guess. But Cute. I just wanted to know, like, Whoa, those should I do it? Um, I'm not trying to gain anything financially out of it. I have a job, but I guess I don't know if I should face my fear or if because there's just so much content out there, yeah. like why even bother? Yeah, but that's... Um, yeah. Yeah, so just want to know what you guys think. Love the show. Uh, love tuning in. So thank you. Thank you. Two things. Be before, I'll go first. Before you even said anything about vlogging or putting yourself out there, I was thinking you have a very like listenable voice. Mm. And so to answer, I think that speaks to your question, which is that if you're going to have a vlog, I mm -hmm. think that would be a good thing because your voice is a good one. Go ahead. I mean, look, I don't know what kind of vlog she wants to do, but he, she's a very sweet person, a very likable person, you know? And her nails are sick. Yeah, like she's got, I mean, dude, anyone can have a vlog. Here's the thing, dude. You saying, well, everyone does it. Everyone has content out there. That's defeatist. You don't drop that immediately because if you want to do it, you should do it. Yes. And you're not, you, this is like a thing. Like, I'm shy, but this is going to help you. If you're shy, it's going to help you. Put it out there. Also, here's the other thing too. Here's something you could do. You could do one, upload it, and 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 either have a private link or mm. or you know send it to friends, or you can just put one out there and put it up and see what happens. And um, here's another thing you can do. You can put one up and never check the comments, which is very hard to do. Or view count. Or view count. But you can just put it up. Why do you want to do it? Right. You know, ask yourself why you want to do it. Here's you a, don't want to get anything financial. Here's the other thing, though. It's true that there's so much content and so much of it is drivel and most of it is just noise. But think about this. What if your favorite podcast or whatever, vlog, I don't know, think about like your favorite mm -hmm. thing that you listen to mm -hmm. or watch online. Mm -hmm. What if those people were like, oh, there's too much... There's too much stuff out there. I don't yeah. really want to do it. That would, you would... You personally would suffer that bad decision yep. so think of it that way yeah like, what if we didn't do this podcast because we thought that then you would be sadder right 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 she wouldn't care if like you didn't do congratulations no but she would this care. one would make her really sad because this one's good mm. well that's very rude you know my shit is popping though a dad <laughs> <laughs> um you're a very sweet person you should start the, you should start the vlog but there's what's the harm in it yeah what's the harm in it she's shy she's she's insecure she thinks it's gonna like be stupid or feel yeah. stupid but whatever but that's the tape the you only play way, in your head yeah the only way you're gonna get over that anyway is to just do that because like there's no way around it you gotta go through it yeah and you wanna get rid of that fear anyway so if for no other reason to get over the fear that you have yes. you should do it if you're not growing you're dying and if you're not doing this you're not growing so don't die well doctor okay no I just feel like you should do it and also, it's like she's immediately likable. Yeah, you know, so like yeah. it's you know. I thought that before you, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so um, I thought she was likable before you thought she was likable. That's fine. So, what I'm, my point is that I'm a bigger fan of hers than you are. She's got nice hair, Kenny G. Fucking nice Kenny G. Hair. She definitely puts Kenny G. to shame. Yeah. With that well, hair. now at this point, and also she's not going to go. What bald. do you mean? Is he bald? Well, yeah, I think he's receding. Oh, he's going back there. No. Is Kenny, not, well, Kenny well, the guy acts like he knows and then he, he says Ken, what i said kenny going going gone is it Dude, he looks like the guy in color me bad and i dare anyone to try to prove me otherwise i dare anyone to try to prove to me that's kenny that's a guy yeah and, he's, it's going back there wow, but, but uncle but, denny dude who, that guy kenny g no well no not the black guy <laughs> but that's what i'm saying even the white guy doesn't look anything like him the white guy's kenny g did you say Uncle Denny? Uncle Denny. 
looks like Kenny G. He doesn't look like him at in all. In that picture. But the simple fact that you said which guy. That's how much he doesn't look like Makes you him. dumb. But that's how much the, the, <laughs> the fucking Kenny G doesn't look like Uncle Benny. Okay, stop clicking on that one though, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. I, uh, Kenny look, G's a pimp though, dude. I guess, man. I mean, like, I, I don't, how would I know? Kenny G's a pimp. No, don't do that. How would you know Kenny G's a pimp? How would you know Kenny G is anything, honestly? Even a good flute I'll tell player. you why. I'll tell you why. What? I think people like Michael Bolton, people used to make fun of Kenny G. Yeah. And Kenny G plowed right through it and was like, I do not give a fuck. Okay, that's, of- that's good, yes. And he didn't change his style. He didn't change the kind of music he plays. He didn't change his hair. Michael Bolton was like, I'm going to cut my hair and then start making fun of myself Fuck that, dude. So you Kenny, Kenny G is stayed a true. More, he's a real G. A more, he's a real Kenny G. A more gangster Michael Bolton is what he is. Yeah, Kenny Gangster. Yeah, because yes. Kenny G was like, you're going to keep making fun of me? That's cool. Yeah. Plain on that, don't plain on that. Yeah. Plain on that, don't plain on that. Plain on that, don't don't. Not done. Plain on that, don't plain on that, don't plain on that, don't plain on that. It's George Michael, but. That's George. No, Michael. no, no. Kenny G does that for sure. He plays. Curtis he Whisper? covers that for sure. Well, I mean, he covers he should. everything. I mean, he should. But no. Plow, 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 and I'm plow. That's pours some sugar on me. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, he doesn't do that. Just one, the but... lyrics, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I, he I mean, does that does that, not dude. surprise me at all. Yeah, but that's cool. Uh, yeah. Kenny G's the original fucking careless whisper. Wow. wow. What's up? So loud, you know. I couldn't care about this whisper. Wow. If you talk louder, maybe I'll care about it. So bad. <laughs> Curtis Whisper is a really good song, dude. George Michael? Very good, dude. Yeah. Rest the, in the, peace. I honor oh, you. Oh, he's dead too, huh? Yeah, dude. He Him died. and Nate Dogg are, are just in heaven. Well, I mean, Nate Dogg's like not hanging out with them because you know Nate Dogg is not down with that gay shit, but I'm just saying. This is for you, George. I got this for you. For all you fucking George Michael fans out there who are jerking off in bathrooms with the door open or whatever. Okay. Uh, he did that? Yeah. Well, isn't that what he did? He, he got arrested for jerking off in the... Uh, no, on so on bad. Oh, no, it was one of the guys. No, so damn well. Don't plan on them. Plan on them. Yo. Plan. Plan on and on and on and. What's happening? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, what, what was that? <laughs> What was it? <laughs> Come on, there's different ways to do it. You ever watch that shit? Uh, nah, not that I go on porn how to bolt Oh, jerking off. Yeah. Oh, Gotta oh. bleep it out, dude. I'm trying to not say it. Well, I didn't know we were playing fucking charades. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Plan on it, don't plan on it. Plan on it, <laughs> don't plan. <laughs> plan on it, don't plan. <laughs> Why is the head <laughs> so small, dude? <laughs> Why is it so fucking long? How about the, the bad so one small. when the chicks think you like this? Plan on it, on it. It's like, dude, what's with the air? You're not even coming to the air. Plan on it, don't plan on it. What if? Plan on it, don't plan. What if you died right after this, right now, and this is the last thing you ever did? <laughs> I get a car wreck. This is the last bit of comedy I ever did. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> wow. Plan on and on and on and Making a pizza, on. making a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. This is the best podcast. What the fucking fucking goddamn dude. Oh. This is the best podcast, man. I don't wow. these fucking idiots out there with podcasts. This one's the best. Yeah, it's funny cuz last episode you literally said it's the worst podcast, but <laughs> fluctuate, <laughs> fl- fl- fluctuating feelings. If you want to want advice man. Session with me, your boy, pim 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 pim, booyah booyah and booyah baby baby. Matchlia dot com. All right, and uh, you know, go to Chris dot com. Get your tickets. I'm going to be in Austin. I'm going to be in uh, Austin. I'm going to be in uh, all these places, man. It's going to be crazy, man. Wow, wow. so uh, April in the tower, 1st, you know? doing my special. He's directing it, so come on out, dude. Um, and also, where else am I going to be? I don't even know, dude. You got a question? Columbus. Check the link in the description below, or go to WatchLifeline dot com. You want that Lifeline merch? Go to lifelinemerch.com. I'm so tired after laughing so hard like that. Me too. Oh, man.